Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our third day of e-learning. Um, I know it's tough to learn this way, but hopefully we'll be back in school pretty soon. Um, what we're going to be doing today is moving on with our learning about DNA. Um, we've been talking about the structure of DNA and how the base pairs uh, code for your genes. So we're going to look at that in a little more detail today. So I'm going to just explain this diagram. This is a great diagram. It kind of covers everything that we need to learn up until this point. So we've already learned about the nucleotide, right, which is the sugar phosphate backbone and um, also a base pair and how that all goes together, and that's a nucleotide. When you put a whole bunch of nucleotides together, you end up with DNA, and you've got two strands of DNA, and they're all twisted into a double helix. So we've learned that much so far. Well, it just so happens that the order of these base pairs, that's what determines your characteristics, and another name for that is traits. So your traits, like eye color, hair color, personality type, uh, illnesses, all kinds of things. Those traits are coded for in a little part of your DNA called a gene. So here's your DNA. Your DNA has genes in it. Not all of your DNA codes for genes. It's a small percentage that actually does code for the genes, but it's a lot of DNA anyway, even though it's a small percentage because we know that the DNA strand is billions of base pairs long. So this little section of the DNA here the order of those base pairs, that's what gives you the code for that particular personality trait or physical attribute or whatever that trait is. So to pack all this DNA into the cell, what happens is it kind of gets swirled around this, um, this little protein called a histone, and it compacts in there, and it ends up kind of like uh, coming together, coiling around the histones, and it, it develops this shape, which is, this is a chromosome. These chromosomes are in your cell, and they're in the nucleus, and they have, um, they have your DNA all coiled very tightly around this protein. Um, so these chromosomes are really helpful when it comes for, to reproduction because they split, and then your, um, your reproductive cell only gets half of that and half from your other parent. So half from mother, half from father, mixes all together and makes a new person. So that's very important. So we have our DNA made up of nucleotides, genes made up of DNA, histones where our DNA is twirled around that protein to make our chromosomes, which code for our personality and physical attributes and divides to make a new person. So it's all tied together in the nucleus of your cell. It's amazing when you stop and think about how much is tied into that tiny little bit of your body and then think about the rest of your body and how it all fits together. It's amazing. So if you have questions about that, please let me know. What I'd like for you to do today um, is to watch the Amoeba Sisters video on DNA, chromosomes, genes, and traits. They go into detail about the same thing that we just went over and then fill out the video recap sheet. When uh, you are watching the video or after you watch the video, you might have to watch it a couple of times to be able to get all of the information on the, the uh, sheet. And that's good because repetition helps you learn. So the, the sheet looks like this, look kind of like the other ones. There was a column for Illustrate, but that's difficult to do on the computer. So I went ahead and put pictures in there for you. The rest of this, though, you can do on your own and you don't have to. It won't be very difficult to do on the computer, in other words. Okie dokie. Please be sure to give me a shout out if you need help, and I'll be glad to help you in any way that I can. Have a great day.